Well, Dash has always been a creature of the U.S. to try and destabilize uh, Syria and Iraq. It was created first in Iraq uh, back in 2004, 2005, then exported to Syria in 2012. And there have been constant reports of U.S. direct collaboration with Daesh in Syria and Iraq through from Syrian, Iraqi and Iranian sources since 2014. Now, more recently, um, there were Syrian television reports of Daesh uh, terrorists who were captured by the Syrians and confessed they'd come from the U.S. base in Al Tanaf to attack the the Syrian army in Palmyra and the T4 air base. Uh, uh, three months ago, there was a, a report of a number of Daesh families moved across to Iraq. Um, so there are these constant reports, and the latest one, of course, is significant in that a large number of fighters have been moved down to the one border post uh, in the border between Iraq and Syria, which is controlled. By Iraq and Syria. So the US has been uh, launching missile attacks on that base for a long time. And also the bombing in Al Bagus was, was uh, two, two years ago was linked to that too. So the latest thing is another step in a, in a series of constant uh, collaborations, which the US has tried to keep hidden, but clear direct collaborations with Daesh to try and uh, keep destabilizing Syria and Iraq and to keep the two countries apart.